I thought about this moment for a number of weeks, and it has made me uh, do a lot of reminiscing. Uh, 19 years, my friends, is a lot out of one's life. Uh, I can remember two years ago saying, uh, when somebody said, well, how long do you think that you're going to be at Van Reason? I said, I don't know. Uh, I could see myself going until 80. My mother uh, lived to 95. I got her genes. I, I could go to 85, 90. I have no idea. Then the surprise came. And there's always been kind of this smile between God and me as I say to him, watch out for you. <laughs> <laughs> but it has made me think in terms of the history of this unique place at 16 Mile at Woodward. Manresa is clearly something of God's doing. And I think as we experience grace, blessing, renewal at that place, whether we are making a retreat or whether we are in the process of uh, giving the talks or being part of a reading seminar or being with an individual who's making the exercises or being in the internship, it really doesn't matter. You come away at different times and say, this is awesome stuff. God is so powerful. And you pinch yourself and say, I'm being paid to do this? I got the best job in the world. And I'm with the best of people. And some of the times I can laugh with them, and some of the times I share tears with them. I'm so blessed to be a part of this place there at 16 Mile and Woodward, which has been going on for 87 years, since 1926. That is remarkable. I am so blessed to be part of this history and to have been missioned there in 1994, in September of 1994, and to have been given such a rich life and a work that, as I say, has been so fruitful and more than I had ever imagined would happen. I have really enjoyed my time at Manresa. I have come to meet so many wonderful people. A number of you are here tonight. Some of you have come from so far. Chicago, Boston, one of you even from Paris. Many of you from around the Detroit area. Wow. When we meet to the Lord, my friends, we meet forever. There is nothing more valuable than having a relationship with someone where you have been able to share something of what it means to become a human being, what it means to struggle with one's humanity, and to feel the victory, and to be able to tell your story and have somebody else say, I am so happy for you. Praise God. That happens over and over again in the offices and out of the lobby and in the chapels of Manresa. I am so glad and proud to be part of uh, this long tradition. This award that I received tonight is really uh, an external sign of the countless blessings I've experienced from God and so many of them coming through you and other people who I know are here in spirit this evening. I will treasure it all my years in Africa and wherever God takes me after that. So many preceded us. So many have made it possible for you and me to be blessed, to be part of my Manresa. And so I cannot accept this award without naming many of these great people who came before us, and I would like to mention at least some of their names right now. Bill Cogley. He was the first Jesuit director from 1925 to 1945 in Manresa. Gerald Fitzgibbons, Clem Singer, Bernie Wernert, John McGrail, Jim Riley, and my dear friend Jim Sirik. Walt Farrell, and now Greg, Greg Hyde. These have been the people who in God's providence asked to lead Manresa. 
We owe a huge debt of gratitude to them, and we are part of that history, my friends. That is what I really would like to say tonight. And I want to also mention the names of some people that I was blessed to work with as we together allow God to do some things that are truly miracles. Denise Anderson, Margaret Wheeler, Marianne Love, Lucia Dubois, Kathy O'Donnell, Anne Dillon, Artemis Anderson, Paula Dow, and Carrie, Gail McGregor, Diane Neville, Mary McKeon, Sister Ellen Lucavoli, Leslie Palmieri, Diane Schultz, Jan Fletcher, Sandy Harding, Bob and Flo Pilarsic, Barbara Steele, Joe Olesnavish, Mike Tim, Marge Orlando, Shannon Barnes, Kay Engel, Sister Rosemary Alla, Debbie Tourville, Bill Wittenberg, Rick Benedict, Father Jack Schuett, Father Jim Farrell, Father Joe Berhelly. I know there are others. I don't want to be too long, but I do want the presence of God to share to you, share with you, that as we grab hold of our history and weigh it, as I am trying to do here, I see myself as part of a large crowd of men and women who have received the gift and lived it and treasured it and relished it and shared it so that you and I could be here and you and I could somehow pass on this enormous gift that is the special place and the special community of men and women who believe in Jesus Christ and proclaim the power of his spirit in good times and in bad wherever we go. I am proud to be a Jesuit. I love being a Catholic. I am delighted to be a priest and to be a friend of yours. And I thank you very much for coming here this evening.